He's always watching. 32 years, five decades. You have allowed me into your homes. I have entertained you. I have done my very best to entertain you and captivate you and do what I do best, what the natural does best, pro wrestling. At its finest and purest form, it is the greatest spectator sport on the planet, in my opinion. Now, today, I offer you a glimpse into my academy, Rhodes Wrestling Academy, where passion lives here. Make no mistake about that. And tonight, first ever showcase for my Rhodes Wrestling Academy students, for you, the fans. Sit back, strap in, enjoy the show. Welcome wrestling fans to the Road Wrestling Academy and their first ever showcase. My name is Stu Myrick and I am proud to lend my voice to these matches that you will see featuring the RWA students showing you why passion lives here. Welcome to Rhodes Wrestling Academy for our first ever showcase. Our special guest referee is Reba, not Rebel. Uh, uh, actually, it's Rebel. It's definitely Rebel. I mean, Rebel, not Reba, from AEW. And as we see the pretty little psycho entering the ring, she is one unique individual. Here's more about the pretty little psycho. Timber. Sitting here with the pretty little psycho, Shauna Reed. Shauna, it's great to talk to you. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Shauna. Huh? Um, tell me a little bit about yourself. Oh, what should I tell about myself? I guess. Okay, well, um, <laughs> I, I just got out of um, a establishment, if you say so, um, in Bellevue, Ohio. Um, I have a lot of friends. Um, I, I kind of have anger issues, <laughs> but um, yeah, I like to wrestle. You like, like to wrestle? Don't that... like to wrestle. I should have not said that. Are you? What are you looking at? I was trying to see who you were talking to. Oh, my God. <laughs> now she is going to be in a test with Famous Miller, a powerhouse of a woman. Here's a little bit more about that powerhouse, Famous Miller. When Famous Miller steps through those ropes, and gets in the center of that ring to compete, what can fans expect to see? I am phenomenally skilled, and I am phenomenally willed. I cannot be beat. I will not quit. I am relentless. You and everyone else at the end of that match will see me will know me, will respect my name. Introducing our fifth corner from Bellevue, Ohio, the pretty little psycho, Sharna Reed! Tinkering! And out of this corner, from Chicago, Illinois, Famous Miller! Ready? Ready? Ring the bell. 
And here we go with this great matchup here at the Road Wrestling Academy. Shauna Reed. Looks like she's got a tag partner, but you can't see her. Or him. Shauna starting off with the headlock. Nice. Nice reversal there by Famous Miller. I talked to this young lady early, and she is a ball of fire, lots of confidence, and you can tell how passionate she is about her work here at the Road Wrestling Academy. You see Miller working that arm on the pretty little psycho, Shauna Reed. Nice wrench. Making that arm twist a little further than it should. Followed by those clubbing forearms to the back of the neck of the psycho. Oh, huge takedown by Miller. And just staying with her. Look at look at the control. The control that Miller has, controlling her opponent in that ring. Ab absolute wonderful strategy there by the powerhouse. And finally, she had to break the hole when Reed got a hold of the ropes. I think Sh Shana might be a little more lost than usual. And, you know, she seems to stay in that lost realm. I'm still trying to figure out who, who she's talking to. Oh. Wow. That was... No, this time, Miller blocks the punch. Nice hip toss there by Miller. And another one. Great. Again, just such a Take her opponent out. And you hear the, you hear the rest of the wrestlers around the ring getting behind Famous Miller. Read into the ropes. Clothesline by Miller. And now, reverse Miller into the turnbuckle. Miller, I think Reed took just a hair long. Oh, but Reed finally pulling Miller down by that long mane of hair. Psycho hooks the leg, barely a one count. Is our guest referee from All Elite Wrestling, Rebel, not Reba. And now, Shauna Reed just pummeling on Miller. Almost, you don't want to call them bear paws because I'm not sure her hands are that big, but still. And now, oh, that has got to be painful. The pressure on the neck, the pressure on the side of the head. Snap that head over. And now Reed taking control of this match. And you wonder how much more, how much more punishment Reed can, or Miller can take off. Reed hooks the leg. You see there, kicked out at two. And now the pretty little cycle continues to attack. Now she's in the ropes. Oh, look at that, using a hair. Using her hair to pull her up against that middle rope. You see Re Rebel ministering that five count. Oh, vicious knees to the back of the neck of famous Miller. Up against those ropes. Now, what does Reed have in store? Oh. Leg drop right across the ropes. 
and now. You, you, but does, does Reed even know that she is winning this match? We'll see. Hard pin, got her hook, and a two count again. Miller showing a lot of power. Lot, she's still got a lot left in the tank. That soft. And now, what is the free little psycho? Big body block there in the turnbuckle. Snapmare on Miller. And the pretty little psycho continues doling out the punishment to Famous Miller. Very strategic move there, snapping that neck again. Got the leg hooked. And Miller kicking out at two. And you, you hear Shauna Reed in the middle of the ring saying end it. I don't know who she's saying it to, but it looks like she wants to try to end this match. Now she looks like she's trying to get her, almost like a sit down. Ah, what a maneuver. Like a sit down full Nelson, complete with the legs. Trying to cut off that air, air supply. She hasn't given up. You see the referee asking if she wants to give give up. Rolls it over into a into a sleeper hold. Into almost a weaver lock type maneuver there by the pretty little psycho Shauna Reed. Double chop by Reed. Takes Miller right back down to the mat. Now you got the cover in. The hook the leg. Count of two and again. Famous Miller kicking out. You gotta imagine Reed is starting to try starting to wonder what it's gonna take to keep Miller down. Now just a flat out punch to the chest. And now Reed is almost almost cocky in her attitude there. Reversal. Reading to the ropes. Oh, big clothesline by Miller. And another one. You see Miller gaining a little bit of more adrenaline. She's got that second win. Side suplex. Hooks the leg. And that was close. That hand was getting down. Out. But you see Miller, she is going back with something. Got Reed up. Oh, rake of the eyes there. And a cutter by Reed. And Miller is laying flat on the mat. Reed rolls her over, hooks the leg. One, two, and, and the kick out. Still not enough. You saw Reed arguing there with Rebel. What is what has Reed got in store? Another just flat out punch to Miller. Now whipped in the ropes, reversal. Reed going into the ropes. It did. Uh, Shauna got tripped by somebody. Oh, roll up there. Miller only get he only get barely a two count. Another sweep the leg. Reed kicking out at two again. Now another rollover, another pin attempt, another two account by two count by Miller. Punches by Miller. Now sends Reed. Oh, thought they were going to send him the ropes, but look at Miller. And I think Reed had had Miller's hair and just pulled around, used the used momentum. Oh, what's Chad Lennox doing up on their apron? Excuse me, you need to get 
Right you've seen, you've seen, seen Rebel telling Chad Lennox to get off the apron. Right I don't know why he's down there. I don't know why he's up there. Get down. Get, get down. Get down now. And now Shauna Reed is getting <laughs> that psycho scream scaring Lennox. And now Miller got, got Reed up. Oh, huge drop there by, by Miller. Hooks the leg. Themis Mill is showing that power. And now, what is Chad doing, though? Oh, fantastic. Oh, fantastic. Oh, no. Oh, it's fantastic. Hey, get out of the way now. Come on. Let's go. What is, what is, and now Chad Lennox has Reed in a, almost a thick rope. You see the natural Dustin Rhodes, the head of the road wrestling academy, chasing Chad Lennox off. As Dustin checks on Shauna Reed, what is? But what got into the head of Chad Lennox to get it get in the ring like that? Hopefully, we'll find out his motivations later on in the show. But Shauna Reed, worse for wear because of. And taken away from. Him. Seamus Miller's victory there. Did Sean say we? I mean, they call her the pretty little psycho for a reason, but. It is time for the powerhouse. In trouble, boy. Bo Harmon, former college football player. Let's learn a little more. Bo, thanks for sitting down with me. Tell me a little bit about yourself. I'm just here so I don't get fun, boss. Straight up. The only uh, thing I got to say, man, is I'm not really a big fan of wrestling. Never have been. I'm here for the money. So if you're not a big fan of wrestling, why did you decide to go into professional wrestling? It's the only sport in the world that pays you the kind of money that we make to beat up another person and turn around and make fun of the dumb hillbillies watching it also, boss. The fact that he just wants to beat people up is quite something. It'll be interesting to see his opponent. This will definitely be a match of differences as he will face the living parasite, Key Say. Let's find out why he considers himself a parasite. Key Say, thank you for sitting down with me. Tell me about Key Say. Who or what is Key Say? It means parasite, Stu. And why parasite? Because when I wrestle, I get in the minds of my opponents. When Key Say steps through those ropes into the ring, what can fans expect to see? That's the thing. You won't know. You know you'll never know if I'm a good person or a bad person. But one thing is for sure, I'm a striker. That's the easiest thing I can say. This young man is an enigma for sure. Very strange, but very well versed in the ring. This is going to be an interesting matchup. Differences in size. Let's go up to our ring announcer, Terrell. This match is scheduled for 10 minutes and one fall. 
out of this corner from Southgate, Ohio, Bo Harmon. And out of this corner from the dark side of Japan, Kisei. Again, this is going to be a matchup of different styles. You got the power of Bo Harmon versus the, the speed and wiliness of Kisei. Rebel calls for the bell. And you can see, you know, you got to imagine, the, you can see the cockiness with Van Harmon. All right, out of the corner, out of the corner, let's go. Just based on the size difference. A somewhat clean break. You hear Harmon referring to Kisei with a teenage body. Once again, all right, all right, break it up, break it up. Harmon controlling, oh, oh and just paintbrush the cheek of Kisei. Oh, oh but look at that, Kisei not backing down with a slap of his own, and now you see that escape by Kisei goes up to the middle rope. Nice cross body there by Kisei, taking down the big Bo Harmon. Kisei coming up, Rose. Oh, kick to the side of the head. Cover, but Harmon muscles out of that very quickly. Nice hip toss there by Kisei. Some good leverage there by the smaller man. And then just a running splash there by the living parasites. Tried it again, but Harmon just catches him. And oh, huge, huge body drop there by Harmon. By the way, okay, I just got word. Because of his actions in the, in the first match, the actions of Chad Lennox. RWA's owner, Dustin Rhodes, has granted Shauna Reed a match against Lennox. Not only that, it's going to be our main event. So you got that to look forward to as the main event of our first ever RWA showcase. Shauna Reed, the pretty little psycho, taking on the cocky Chad Lennox. As we get back to the action, a big shoulder block there by Har Harmon. Almost split Kisei in half. And Harmon has been having his way here. His power dominating right now. Goes for the cover. Hooks that leg. And Harmon pulls him up. Right as Rebel counted too. Harmon pulled him up. He's not done with Kisei. Again, you got to imagine this is almost like that high school playground bullying. You know, the big football player bullying the, the little, the smaller man. Uh, Kisei hitting hard into the turnbuckle. And again. And now Harmon has him up. Oh, nice tilt to world body drop. Kisei you can tell he is worse than where trying to catch his breath. It's hard for him to breathe right now. See Harmon setting up. Goes up. Oh, big. Big splash. Rebel going down. And a two count there for Harmon. I got to be honest, I thought that was it for Kisei, but he's got more heart. And you hear the rest of the students getting behind the living parasite. And now Kisei with those quick strikes. Elbows back and back. And now Kisei into the ropes. Oh, nice missile drop kick by Kisei. Oh, there. Kisei. That's 
how you take care of the big man. You take the legs out from under him. Then, he's on, then he comes down to your size. Oh, big hip, almost a hip check there to the head of Bo Harmon. In a almost a stunner-like maneuver, and Harmon rolls out of the ring. He say going after him, trying to pick him up. He knows he can only win the win the match in the ring. This is not a false count anywhere. You hear Rebel the referee administering the count. Both men back in the ring. Good on Kisei to go for the pinfall. Like, and almost got the win. Army kicking out at two and three quarters there. Harmon, worse for wear there. Snake Eyes move. Oh, a huge spine buster there by Harmon. Rolls him over. And Kise kicked out. I mean, again, give a lot of give a lot of credit to Kise for his heart and his determination to stay alive in this match. Oh, and they just kick to the gut. Kise going for the stunner. Harmon. Oh! Vicious clothesline. Hooks the leg. And, and the winner is Bo Harmon. And a lot of heart there by Kisei, but in the end, he could not get past the sheer strength and power of Bo Harmon. Bo Harmon, your winner here at the Rhodes Wrestling Academy Showcase. Look on Kisei. He's got something on his mind. I think it may not be the last time Bo Harmon runs in to the living parasite. Our next match here at the Rhodes Wrestling Academy Showcase, we get to see Dark Vintage. Ava Wilde. Let's find out why she is Dark Vintage. So when Dark Vintage Ava Wilde climbs into that ring, what can fans expect to see? You're going to see a whole lot of this. You're going to see a whole lot of me. Uh, you're going to see a whole lot of power, too. So whoever steps in the ring to get in my way, don't expect to come out I mean, as cute as I am. And you're going to expect a whole lot of pain. Because my power moves are, well, power moves. Very impressive. Quite dark. It will be something to see. Watch her in the ring with the strength and the power that she has. This is the Zoe Gate Show. This girl is royalty. Let's find out more about Zoe Gate. My name is Zoe Gates. I'm very popular, I'm very pretty, and I'm very, very rich. And to make a million dollars in this industry, you have to look like a million dollars. Understood. Who was that one pro wrestler that you watched and made you say, I want to do that? Um, the only other female in this industry that I think can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with me you know, in the looks department, because I'm very pretty, is Sasha Banks. I think she's gorgeous, but as far as our in-ring ability, we'll have to see when we get there. And what can we expect to see in the ring from Zoe Gates? Um, 
you know what, Stu, don't worry about it. Just know it'll look really great because I am money. You can tell Zoe Gates has all the confidence in the world. She believes she is money. Let's go up to our ring announcer for their introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is scheduled for one fall with a 15-minute time limit. Introducing to my left, from Georgetown, Texas, she is Dark Vintage, Ava Wild. And in my corner over here, all the way from Beverly Hills, California, she is Champagne, she is Caviar, she is Money, Miss Zoe Gay. <laughs> This women's match here at the Road Wrestling Academy. Ring the bell. Again, oh, Zoe. Zoe Gates. Zoe. She is Honey. so confident. Are you lost? Her confidence matches the darkness in. Never that. Dare I say seductiveness of Ava Wild. Don't you know, little girl? All you are is. Well, yeah. Little girls get hurt. Oh! Don't you dare touch me! Yeah! Oh. Ava Wild trying to intimidate Zoe with that shove, but Zoe's not having anything of it. And Zoe put a beat down early on in this match against Ava. Ava into the ropes. Oh. Puts on the brakes. Saving herself from what could have been a clothesline punch. You see our our referee, AEW's Rebel, not Reba. Encouraging Ava to get back in the ring. And now both girls lock up. Ava with the headlock and the takeover. Take that. Again, I think the key is going to be Ava. Exerting her dominance, using her power. But she's got to compete with the speed and the agility of Zoe Gates. And now Zoe with the headlock. Nice takedown there by the smaller of the two. And now Ava Wild with the leg scissors. Zoe gets out. And we're back at neutral. Colin Ovo tie up. Very agile, Zoe Gates is in this in this match so far, and she's going. That's another one of her keys to compete against the power of Ava Wild, Dark Vintage. Oh, nice, nice hip toss, nice set of hip toss. Now she's got that armbar on. You hear the crowd, the students rooting Zoe on. Ava using that mane of hair. To and the ref didn't see it. Ava lets go just enough to get in a few stomps to the midsection. And now Ava Wild just picking her up by her neck. Again, that's a, and that's going to be a challenge for Zoe is the size of Ava Wild. Zoe trying for the cross body, but Ava Wild catch and just tosses her over, hooks the leg, gets a one count. And again, Ava Wild hands around the neck, uh, sends Gates into the corner, and now. What's Wild got? Uh, shoulder blocks. Successive. You hear the referee. The girl's got out of the corner. She did. And Zoe Gates goes hard into that toxic drop.
Fishman suplex there by Ava Wilde. Bridge up. Impressive. And still barely a two count. Now she hooks a leg. And just a one count. Now, now Ava's got to... Ava has to stop arguing with the ref. She's got to stay on her task. She sends Gates into the rope. Uh, roundhouse kick there by Ava Wild. Ava off the ropes now. Oh, knee lift. Vicious knee lift by Ava Wild. Hooks the leg. And gets a two count. Excessive pin attempts there by Ava Wild, but to no avail. Ava, you can see the frustration. Just pummeling her head there before that last pin attempt. Her father paying off? Are you kidding me? Did he pay off student loans? Are you kidding me? Did he pay off his student loans? Her opponent, she's your father. Successive clothes lines, kick to the bid section. Nice slam by Zoe. And now, Zoe going up to the second rope, which she got planned. Even second rope can be a high risk maneuver. Crossbody by Zoe, hooks the leg, and gets a two count. Imagine that time that David Wild spent arguing with the referee, gave Zoe Wild a chance to recover, a chance to catch a breath, and now Zoe coming in. Oh, nice body tackle, body block there. It looks like she's going to try for the Bulldog. Dead goes into the ring. Oh, a huge, almost a modified spine buster to buy Ava Wild. So it gets a one count. And again, Ava Wild. Jawing with the referee. He needs to be careful. This referee also knows her way around the ring. One of the stars of all elite wrestling. Gates catches her with the bulldog. Flips her over. Hooks the leg. And get a three count for the win. Zoe Gates, she, she, she's Huggy Rebel. How about that? And you gotta imagine it was a huge mistake by Abel Wild. But give credit to Zoe Gates, staying on task and getting the victory. Don't forget, it's all about Zoe Gates. We want to take a moment here during this first ever Rhodes Wrestling Academy Showcase to talk to the founder of the Rhodes Wrestling Academy, 30 plus years in the wrestling business from one of the most iconic names in wrestling, the natural Dustin Rhodes. Thank you for joining me. I know your heart is in training. You do it now with the young wrestlers in all elite wrestling. Talk about how you developed the Rhodes Wrestling Academy. Well, thank you, Stu, for having me on this, and thank all the fans for continuing to watch our first ever showcase. This is awesome. This means a lot to me. I really appreciate you watching very much. I appreciate you for 32 years you've stood beside me and watched me do my trade in this ring. And now it's my turn to kind of pass over the reins to the younger generation of kids, the up-and-comers, who have walked themselves through these doors and got into my two rings. I'm gonna push them hard, I'm gonna train them harder, and hopefully one day they will make it on the big screen on TV. Stay tuned, we got a few more matches. Stu, thank you so, so very much. I really do appreciate this opportunity. My pleasure, Dustin. And to find out more about the Rhodes Wrestling Academy and how you can join a class here, Go to RhodesWrestlingAcademy.com.
time to get ready for some tag team action here at the Road Wrestling Academy Showcase as we will see Bo Harmon teaming up with Red Davis. Let's learn a little more about Red Davis. Right here, right now. Technical wrestling starts here. Tag team wrestling starts here. What kind of excellence can we expect to see in the ring from Red Davis? What kind of excellence? What kind of question is that? Have you not seen me in that ring at all? I am the definition of technical wrestling. I am technical wrestling. Whoever gets in the middle of that ring with me, I am working every body part on their bone, and I will break every body part on their bone. So you will see in this tag match, exactly what we're going to do. Old school tag team wrestling. Tag team rope utilized. That's tag team wrestling. None of this flippy stuff. We're going to work technical tag team wrestling. An interesting team up here with Red Davis being a technical wrestler. Bo Harmon with that power that we saw earlier. They're going to be well matched against their opponent. <laughs> Two people we have not seen yet in Cisco Armenta and James Holiday. Let's learn more about these two individuals. When did you decide you want to be a professional wrestler? Was there a certain wrestler that you watched and made you say, I want to do that? Well, yeah, you know, we all get to the point, like, we want to figure out what we want to do. Towards the end of high school, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Everyone did. So I went to my first professional wrestling match. And that's why I really fell in love with the sport and said, I would love to do this for a living. Who did you see in that first, in that first match? Well, Chris Jericho. Jericho? Yes, great inspiration how he had he'd been in the game for generations and decades and he learns how to adapt and I would love to be, love to be like Jericho. James, thanks for stopping by. Tell me a little bit about yourself. By myself, I am an Army veteran. I served for four years, uh, did a tour in Afghanistan, I was an Army medic there. And after I got out, I decided I needed a new challenge in my life. I needed something to go after, something to chase. I love professional wrestling. What better place to be than the Rose Wrestling Academy? Tell everybody what they can expect from James Holiday when he steps in their ring. <laughs> what you can't expect. What you can expect is me and my partner, Cisco. You can expect us going in that ring and then actually destroying our opponents, Bo Harmon and Red Davis. What you can expect is me skull dragging my opponents from ring post to ring post and making them wish that the match would end. What you can expect is me and my partner, Cisco, kicking their ass and winning the match. You got size with Holiday, speed with Armenta. It's going to be fun to watch these two guys team up. And as we get ready, let's go up to our ring announcer for the formal introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is scheduled for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. And in my first corner, we have the team of Bo Harmon and Red Davis. And in the other corner, we have the team of James Holiday and Cisco. Looks like it's going to be Cisco and Red Davis starting out. Get a little confab between Sis between Red Davis and Bo Harmon. As you see, Cisco's got a, got a little bit of a height advantage there. Filling each other out. Red Dave. Red Dave is trying to. Oh, no. Quick collar and elbow tie up. Again. Red Dave is showboating there a little bit. And now, lock up. Cisco getting the advantage with the arm. 
wrench in the arm. And again. So much tension. Oh, nice takeover. And dropping the leg right across the elbow. Cisco getting the early advantage, keeping Red away from the corner. Now we got a tag into Holiday. The former Army medic. Oh, clubs that shoulder. And now both men. Little double team. Double leg sweep by the by Cisco and Holiday. Nice job. And then Holiday sending Red into the corner. Another quick tag. Cisco back in. You see, you see Harmon reach now, but no avail. Oh, that hesitation cost Cisco. Red was able to. Oh, nice arm drag there. And then Cisco hard into the corner. Oh, but then. Bo Harmon immediately changing the advantage. Red with the blind tag. Oh, but Cisco using his quickness to, dig, to duck that double punch. Again, these four men have learned under the toolage of RWA's owner, the natural Dustin Rhodes. That double team. Harmon with an elbow to the small of the back of Cisco. Oh, and close line to the back. I mean, Cisco didn't even see it coming. And the distraction there while the referee's busy with Holiday. Davis and Harmon. Having their way with Cisco. And now, Davis Harmon with the advantage right now. Oh. Double fist into the midsection. A oh, big uppercut there by Davis. Davis taking him over. A oh, big knee. Catches Cisco right across the neck. Hooks the leg. Get a two count. Cisco's got a lot of heart. He's got a lot of heart. You got to give that to him as you hear the, the rest of the RWA students getting into the match. And now Harmon in, exerting his power. The former Cincinnati Bears. Oh, suplex, keeping the hold. Could we see a three amigo? There's two. And now Harmon rolling him over again. Gets up. Can we see it? Oh no, he switches it up. Almost like a side slam there. But only a two count again. Cisco. And check out those elbows that Harmon is throwing into the small of the back. Cisco is getting a lot of damage in the small of that small of the back. Red Davis tags in. Stomps to the midsection. Both Davis and Harmon have been vicious during this match. And especially, especially Davis. Davis showing no mercy whatsoever. Cisco needs a tag so badly right now. He's got to find a way to escape those holes. And every time Davis finds a way to just more punishment. And now, Davis show, buddy. 
Oh, it's look at Cisco rolling him up. Catch Davis by surprise. Almost got the victory. Red Davis is just tenacious. And, oh, you see how he's got him. Oh, just drops him. And punishing that back more. What are you going to do? You hear Davis just chiding Cisco. Saying, what are you going to do? Almost challenging him to do something. Cisco trying to fight out, but didn't see the tag from Harmon. And now, oh, beautiful double team maneuver. And Cisco kicking out at two and a half there. Cisco trying to fight out, but again, that power, the strength. Of Bo Harmon. Oh, Cisco catching with a couple of rights. Harmon misses with the clothesline. Big boot by Cisco. But that back is just killing Cisco. Both men are down. You see the referee, Rebel, checking on both men. This is the opportunity Cisco needs. He's got to get to his corner, tag in Holiday. And same thing. You see Harmon getting close to this one. Will, will, who will make the tag? Tag to Davis. Tag to Holloway. Here we go. Holiday coming in like a house of fire. Close lines. Holiday knocking Harmon off the apron. Big slam by, the, by Holiday. And now Holiday into the ropes. What's he got going? Oh, big back body drop there by Harmon. Pin in the heart. Harmon saves his partner. And now we got all four men in the ring. Cisco beating up Harmon. And Cisco throws Harmon outside the ring. Meanwhile, Davis and Holiday still the legal men in the ring. Cisco, Davis misses. Huge body cross body block. And a three count. And your winner, the team of James Holiday and Cisco. Cisco able to get that tag. And Fred Davis missing with that clothesline. And that cross body by Harmon. Getting the win for James Holiday and Cisco Armenta. And as we continue here at the Rhodes Wrestling Academy Showcase, you want to keep on this one, baby? All eyes on me. We get to see Rob Dutcher as he comes to the ring. Let's hear what Rob Dutcher has to say. Who or what was it that inspired you to be a pro wrestler? One said, you said, that's why I want to be a pro wrestler. Hey, girl. Hands down. And then recently, Daniel Bryan, because they show that. Small guys can do big things, and okay. that's what I want to be like. So when Rob Dutcher steps foot in that ring, what can fans expect to see? Speed, athleticism, aggression, and not backing down no matter how big someone is. Just going headstrong. And you can see Rob Dutcher, very spirited, very ready for the ring. We'll see if he's ready for this challenge in his match coming up. As the challenge he has before him is a man of enormous size, Billy the Bruiser Burgess. Check out 
a little more about the Bruiser. So when Billy the Bruiser Burgess steps into that ring, what can fans expect to see? I am going to send Rob Dutcher straight to hell. I am going to choke slam that man out of his soul. Burgess is every bit of 6'7", towering. Just a towering individual. Let's go to our ring announcer for the formal introductions. This match is scheduled for one fall and a 10-minute time limit. In this corner, we have Rob Dutcher from Austin, Texas. And in this corner, we have from the mean streets of St. Bernard, Ohio, Billy the Bruiser Burgess. Here we go. You know, Rob, Rob is giving up a lot of sides in this match, so he's, he has got to rely on his speed and his escapability. Just like that. He gets behind him, you see him throwing punches. <laughs> but Burgess. Oh, vicious boot to the gut there. God! That might have caved Dutcher's ribs in. You hear the referee, Rebel, instructing competitors to get out of the corner, and Burgess helps Dutcher out of the corner with malice. Burgess missing on that splash, and Dutcher catching him with that kick. But then, and then Burgess catches Dutcher. Tried for the power slam again. Dutcher using his his quickness, very agile in the ring. Rob Dutcher is nice missile drop kick right to the shoulder of Billy the Bruiser Burgess, and now. Dutcher, you can see him raining blows down. Oh, good Lord. And then that was, that offensive stopped immediately. Like those big ham hocks that Burgess calls hands. And just a choke slam. And that is it. And the winner is Billy, the bruiser. Burgess! And that is it. Billy the Bruiser Burgess. Dominant in this match against Rob Dutcher. Give Dutcher credit. He, he definitely used his speed. He used his agility. But in the end, it was no match for the size and power of Billy the Bruiser Burgess. Time for the main event here at the Rhodes Wrestling Academy. Oh, is this? This is for me. This is all for me, baby. Shauna, you're the golden child. You're the one that everyone talks about. After this, you're going to be talking about me, Chad Lennox. And I'm here with Chad Lennox. That's right. He's joined us here at the Rhodes Wrestling Academy. Chad, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, Stu, I think you'll know the name. Okay, you know, there's not a whole lot that I'm going to tell you right now because my actions are going to speak a little bit louder than words. All I'll leave you with, there's some talent here for sure, but until Chad Lennox walks through the door, business wasn't booming. Now, he stops rhyming. Okay, I'm almost afraid to ask, but what or who inspired you to get into professional wrestling? 
You know, my mother always told me I had an aptitude for things that were athletic. I have a background in martial arts and watching the likes of Dean Malenko, watching the likes of Eddie Guerrero, I said, I could be the greatest there's ever been. Dean Malenko, Ed Guerrero, good names to hold. Chad, it's going to be so, so it's going to be neat to watch you in the ring. Are you ready for your opponent? Is it going to be? <laughs> Am I ready? Am I ready for my opponent? You see, <laughs> you know, you know what, Stu? You'll see a little bit later. Are we done here? Give me more questions, Stu. I have an important call to take. This young man is you definitely full of himself. Dad, Very confident. To the point of being cocky. Thinks he is money. We'll see what kind of action he can get as he has to face the pretty little psycho, Shauna Reed. Shauna Reed still favoring her neck from that attack earlier in the showcase. And apparently still conversing with the voices in her head. This is the main event of the evening. We're scheduled for one fall, 30-minute time limit. Out of this corner from Huntington Beach, California, Chad Lennon! And out of this corner, from Bellevue, Ohio, straight out of the ward, the pretty little psycho, Shauna Reed! Shauna Reed. Oh my gosh, she, as soon as she gets in the ring, goes after Lennox. I mean, like a, like a Wolverine, just... I don't think Chad Lennox knows where he is. Look at the kicks. Shauna Reed has started this match in a, in a terror. I mean, Chad Lennox hasn't even gotten to his feet since the bell rang. Lennox taking a, taking a moment outside the range to try to gather himself. Is Shauna Reed? And now Shauna trying to pull Chad by his hair back into the ring. Who hired you? Here we go. One, two, three. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you know. Whatever strategy Chad Lennox had. And here's four. To combat Shauna Reed, I think it went out the Five. window. Listen, okay. All right. And now, six. Lennox, back in the ring, and here comes. Oh, threw her in, and then a swift kick to the gut. And now, and now Shauna Reed going outside the ropes. Oh. Nice kick. No. Lennox escapes before Reed can pull out punishment from the top turnbuckle. But then. And now Shauna Reed a little worse for wear. Lennox putting the boots to her a little bit there. Lennox back in the ring. Tells the ref to start the 10 count. Our referee, Rebel, from All Elite Wrestling. You see Shauna Reed trying to recover. She's back up to her feet. Starts getting in the ring, and now Lennox slides under, and now Lennox has her outside the ring. 
Dear Lord. Sean and Reed back. Meeting that still ring post. Not only does it damage the back, making it, make it hard for to stand. The impact knocks some of the wind out of her, so now it's hard to breathe. Our referee up to six. You see, she's up to eight. And at the count of nine, Shauna Reed. Rolls her way back under the bottom rope. But she is almost lifeless. You see a referee checking on her, seeing if she can continue. Again, the referee's roll. Is their number one role is to protect the wrestlers, watch out for their health and safety. You can hear Shauna almost telling herself. You want to call it? You want to call it? Trying to almost mo Wait, to motivating it? herself. You want to call it? And you hear the referee asking her if she wants to call it. But so far, Shauna Reed, I think she's saying no to her. Could be saying no to one of her men. <laughs> Good Lord, and Shauna Reed shot out at Chad Lennon's like she come out of a cannon. And now taking Chad again, and now just pummeling him, pummeling him. Yeah. Off the rope. Oh. And now Lennox. Lennox goes back out the ring. Back in the ring. Oh, my God. You know Lennox thought he had Shauna Reed dead to right. And now Reed comes out of the ring, goes after Lennox. Oh, but Good. Both you back in the ring. Bad positioning there. Let's go. Yeah! He gets slammed across the apron there. One. Inflicting more damage to the small of the back. She's not doing it now. Dustin. Three. Come on, Sean. And now Lennox gets back in the ring. See what he's got planned for the pretty little psycho. Sean Reed. Very innovative there yes. by Reed. Looked like Reed was trying to go for a gut buster, but Lennox throws her over, hooks the leg, but only gets a one count. I mean, you wonder how much Shauna has left in her. Lennox huh? continues to punish that back. Yeah. Reminiscent of the Minnesota Wrecking Crew, the Andersons. Pick one body part and just pummel until your opponent commits. And that's exactly what Chad Lennox is doing on the right now. Boot across the neck. Practically choking the life out of Shauna Reed. Rebel, just she give up? Oh! Oh, oh, Shauna Reed showing no, she is not giving up yet. But again, Lennox stopping the momentum there. A and then a double stop to the back. A little bit of flair there with that punishment by Chad Lennox. You heard in the interview. Lennox believes he is better than everybody. He is above everything. Yes. Yes. Sean up with the knees and then just a flat out backbreaker. And now wrenching back, using his knee to put pressure on the small of the back of a pretty little psycho. Good job by Lennox to realize where he, where they were in the ring. Can you grab that for me, okay? 
And then let us bite in the ear of. Sh okay, who's the psycho here? Reed or Lennox? Donna Reed. You wonder if she's going to be able to recover. And now Lennox has her tied up in the ropes. Wrenching back. Against Lennox, Lennox using the, the count of the referee to his advantage to inflict as much punishment as possible. Now Shauna Reed getting a couple of shots in, but knee to the head stops her cold. Now, snap mare the by Lennox. Yep. Oh, and just a vicious kick to the back. It has the pin, but didn't hook the leg. You gotta imagine that's probably what cost, what kept him from getting the victory at this moment. As Lennox continues. Continues to pummel the back. Oh, and I think Shun was biting. Lennox was trying to get that head. And I think Shun bit him on the arm. But now, Lennox with an innovative maneuver there, pulling the arm across her throat. Almost kind of putting herself in a headlock. Shauna Reed trying to fight out. Lennox with a almost a modified hot shot there. And that was that was just, you know, nothing but cockiness and arrogance there by Lennox. And now Lennox puts Reed in the half grab. Again, more pressure to the back. Couple of stumps for good measure, and again, Chad Lennox trying to get Shauna Reed to tap out. Small package here by Reed. Gets a two count. Chad Lennox with a clubbing. Clubbing area in the corner. Now Lennox started to kick, punch. And they got to get out of that corner. And then Lennox just thinks it's over. And misses that black Shauna Reed with a beautiful spear on Chad Lennox. And now both competitors are down. Both competitors down on the mat. Shauna Reed screaming, I think, at herself. She's, she's up. Lennox is up. Sling blade there by Lennox. And another one. This is a sex of sling blade by, excuse me, by Shauna Reed. It's like Sean Reed's gotten a second win. Double knees. And now Sean Reed. Oh, beautiful maneuver there by the pretty little psycho. She's getting amped up. She goes over, hooks the leg. But only a two count. Flat out boot to the midsection of Chad Lennox. Now what Shauna, what is Shauna Reed trying to do here? She's going to the corner. She's climbing up turnbuckles. High risk, high reward here. Lennox is up, catches her, and just throws her halfway across the ring. Getting the reprieve from the punishment of the pretty little psycho. And now Lennox 
just a lazy cover. Against a two count. Shauna Reed rolls him up. And now we're just going through successive pin attempts here by each competitor. Almost almost a crucifix there by the pretty little psycho. Gets her gets a two count. Better than the ropes. Oh. oh my god. Are you Big drop kick. Almost a missile drop kick there by Lennox. And Sean Reed laying motionless in the ring right now. Throws it over. Hooks the outer leg. And as the hand was coming down, it was two and three quarters. But somehow, Shauna Reed able to kick out. Come on, Shauna, you got to fight back. Come on. But you know, Chad Lennox has got more in store. Looks like he's calling for Khan to finish the match now. Let's see. You hear, you hear him say, time to go to sleep. Picks her up. Shauna Reed escapes. And a beautiful, almost a kind of a modified cutter there by Shauna. Now what's he? Now what's she doing? She got. Looks like she got. Got her tied up. Got Lennox tied up. Pulling that arm back. That arm shouldn't go back that far. Look at Sha look at Shauna Reed. And Lennox taps. Lennox the gives up. Is pretty little psycho. Shauna Reed! An amazing main event that saw Shauna Reed almost pull Chad Lennox's arm out of the socket. Gets the tap out, gets the victory. See the owners of the Rhodes Wrestling Academy, the natural Dustin Rhodes, his wife Terrell, in the ring. Congratulate the pretty little psycho, Shauna Reed. And there you have it. Dustin Rhodes raising the hand of Shauna Reed as the rest of the RWA students gather in the ring to celebrate the successful first ever Rhodes Wrestling Academy Showcase. Wrestling fans, I hope you've enjoyed what you have seen from these 12 young men and women that make up the first ever Rhodes Wrestling Academy class. You see what they've accomplished. If you'd like to find out more about the Rhodes Wrestling Academy, Make sure you follow them on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I stopped for a second. Sean and Reed giving Billy Burgess a big hug. But again, as I was saying, you can also find out more at RhodesWrestlingAcademy.com. On behalf of the natural Dustin Rhodes, and everyone here at the RWA, I'm Stu Myrick. Thanks so much for watching. And never forget that passion lives here at the Rhodes Wrestling Academy. Thanks for watching, and good night.